This is the GOAT already, which means I'm better than your favorite wrestler, Elijah Six, and you're watching Stir in the Pot with Don Kincaid. power because you got shit to do i got shit to do i'm wrapped around all right i am gonna scoot just a little bit out of the way of the champ's belt as much as i hate saying that because it used to be old jabronis old jabronis bro. uh, but, hey, don't do that <laughs> Dr. kate here stirring the pot with my do i say special very special ultra special that I, I got Eliza Six with me today. I mean, my very special guest, one Eliza Six. Your greatest guest. The, the, <laughs> Matter of uh, fact, stop talking. Where's the merch? What merch? The fly t shirt, the All Red E merchandise, which you could get on prowrestlingtees.com slash All Red E. Hey, the, type it in. This is $20. Not for, this is not kids. for commercials. Huh? This is not for commercials. This is not for selling. Um, Merch? <laughs> I, I got out of work, man. What the. Right, it's Elijah Six. I just figured, hey, get out of the work, keep on my work clothes with it. I don't even know how the fuck you know where I live. Uh, well, I got friends. Okay, just Jennifer saying. Bachan, huh? Jen- <laughs> Jen Bachan, you've been <laughs> Jesus Christ. I-, I am here with the current American Luchador champion in Battlefront Pro Wrestling. He wrestles in TOS, Test of Strength. He wrestles in Bell Time Club. He wrestles in PAPW, Paradise Alley Pro Wrestling. He wrestles in... Am I missing anything yet? Uh, XWA. XWA! Uh, we love XWA. Yeah, everybody does. Uh, I did Blitzkrieg once. I did Nova once. Blitzkrieg? I did a lot of places. Nova? Oh, yeah. I, I, I've been into me some Nova. That's a good time up there. Mm-hmm. Man, Elijah Six, I've got to say, we have this hate hate relationship Mm -hmm. in uh wrestling as they say um but what i like to do is i like to kind of peel back the curtain a little bit and give the fans a a little backstory we peel back the the entertainment value a little bit if you will um and we get to know elijah six because i I know you don't want to talk to the fans while we're at the shows so i figured i might as well take a shot i hit him up he reluctantly said yes. He said no three times first and then said yes because I wouldn't give up. And here we are. So, uh, the corona's going around. So, here. We do the load. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the little, we do the load thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, the corona is going around. So, yeah, we don't want to. be careful. But, uh, Elijah Six, I appreciate your time. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll, <laughs> I can't believe I'm at your home. Uh, I thought we were going someplace else because you didn't want me to know where you lived. But that's here nor the. West Liberty yeah. Street. Is that where we're at right now? West Liberty Street? No, I'm not going to tell you where we're at because people are weird. Right. I did get dropped. I used to live there, though. You did so have I, a... I stole the sign, actually. Well, that seems pretty goatish. Yeah. Um, you did have a driver drop me off, which I was kind of freaked out about. Yeah. Um, the, the bag over the head? Totally unnecessary. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. So what I like to do is peel it back a little bit, and I know you got shit to do. Yeah. I mean, you know, because you're the goat. Yeah. All, all red. E. E. It's an E. Um, so what I I don't know anything about Elijah Six, uh, besides he likes to come out, he likes to piss off the fans, he likes to tear up signs, he uh, enjoys ultra heat, if you will, as of as of late. I don't like to piss the fans off. See, here's something that my mom always told me. All right, growing up as a kid, I was a little badass motherfucker. All right, used to get in trouble a lot. And I used to get in fights a lot in school because I didn't know how to shut the fuck up. Hmm. So my mom would always tell me, treat people the way that you want to be treated. And people don't treat me too nice when I walk out through those curtains. You ever hear them? You started it. You ever hear them? You started it. Chances are I'm the best wrestler on the card. And they boo me. They need to appreciate me. They don't do that very much. So fuck them because they fuck me. Pause. Wait. 
Fuck them. Just fuck them. Wow. Right? Wow. Pause. Hey, speaking they didn't of, fuck me. Speaking of pause, I, this is a one-man show. Very low budget. Obviously, you can tell. I yeah. just got to check the cam, make sure we're rolling. Because if I record this for nothing, you're going to kill me. And, 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 and I just got to check real quick. All right. So, uh... He's effing the fans over there. I mean, I don't Awkward know. moment. This is like it, it the is. little blank space. Yeah, but it is. Hey, would you rather nothing? Would you rather have no film at all or at least me check it? Yeah, actually, that, that has happened uh, at Test of Strength a couple times. I don't know why, but when we record, it always gets fucked up. It's like, <laughs> and, and that's why uh, clips take so long to come out because we don't have like an official guy to edit I got or you. to record yet we kind of just have like the students do it yeah and then i don't know how wags edits it but yeah. there's no way that wags edits that no, no he he doesn't edit it. i'm talking about like i don't yeah, know who no. he goes through no i got that yeah no that's too much work for him <laughs> uh test of strength i am so glad you mentioned it um i gotta say that's where we've met one elijah six because that's your home test of strength am i correct yeah that's where i trained at that place gives us some of the most fun times, great memories. Um, families come, the, the, the children. The, the training day is a little bit different than their, their road shows now that you've kind of spread your wings a bit on the road. Yeah. Um, talk about a little bit of the test of strength because I know you love your boys at test of strength and we're, they've brought you in wrestling to be able to, to go to said promotion, uh, XWA or Bell Time Club, sister promotion of uh, Test of Strength, mm -hmm. and be able to be trusted with the background they've given you. Uh, talk a bit about the Test of Strength family, uh, the training you've gotten, the skills that they've given you, um, and, and how they've made you, you're, honed you, if you will, up to where you're at now. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I feel like... Uh... A lot of the guys up there, they just inspire me to be better every single day since I started training there. And uh, like Wagner, he's, I think he's one of the best in the world. If you sit there in, in the dojo with him and learn from him and pick his brain, like mm -hmm. he, no matter what I do, he'll always have feedback and he'll always have something new to teach me. Uh, I'm in a stable with Sammy right now, as most of you may know, uh, the firm. Uh, he's great. He's probably the best out of the dojo really and being around him all the time and learning from him and having to keep up with him because mm. if i don't then i'm gonna be like <laughs> you know what i mean i'm gonna fall into obscurity that's great uh hippie's great ty shine is just amazing his timing in the ring is just oh my god it's great and for uh he's not a like a, a, a jacked guy but for a bigger guy the moves yeah. that he presents is mm -hmm. like, holy crap, you know? TJ is very good, too. He's he's somebody who a lot of people overlook. He's he, absolutely. great in the ring. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Guys like that, it's just always being around them and learning from them, that makes me better. Mm. And that's a lot of the reason why I feel like we're the best... Uh, we're the best school. <laughs> everybody says that about their home base. Yeah, everybody's going to say that, but I can say it with confidence and I can mean it. I just didn't want to say it because I don't want to seem cocky or anything. But no, it's really please. the way that I feel, you know? That's what this is. This is an open forum for us to get to know Mr. Elijah Six, where he's come from, how he's come yeah. up. Um, because there's not too many outlets out there right now. So last year, I figured I'm going to take a shot at it and start asking some of the guys and girls to see if they'd be interested. And I've gotten some interest. We had a good time last year. And I've only did about maybe six months worth last year. And mm -hmm. I've met so many of, the, of your peers that yeah. are in the industry right now. And um, some great stories, some great times. Um, so, again, I appreciate your time here. And, and, and it gives us, the fans, um, an open door, to be honest with you, on not the GOAT, but Elijah Six. I don't even know if that's his real name. We call him Elijah Six. Who the hell, who the hell even know if it's his real name? You'll never know my real name. No, it, it, Mind your business. If, if, <laughs> we, I am going to get back to the firm because that is something that is very vital in this interview. But I want to go back to the very first time. <laughs> the, very, the very first time I ever did a promo with, uh. with one Elijah Six. <laughs> but at that time, if I may say, it was... Eli Platinum, okay? Uh, that was the evolution. And I talk about evolution of character on my Storing the Pots. I think that's very, again, I, I, I like to use the word vital um, because wrestling, it's very, if you're not, if you don't have your game in wrestling, you're in the back of the line, like you say, obscurity. Nobody yeah. knows who the hell you are, mm -hmm. what you're doing. So you, you have to be up, on bro. your game. Yeah. You got to so keep up. 
evolution is a thing of wrestling and that's very uh, a part of the stirring the pot interviews so you <laughs> you were Eli Platinum at the time not that you're not young now but I look back at that promo and it looks like you were like like six years ago, like you were just a little kid. You've evolved over. Yeah, I got jacked, bro. Not that I ate a lot of tilapia, in case you can't tell. Potassium. Yeah, I hit the gas station a lot. Too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. Um, back then, um, just watching you in the ring coming up as a student, I latched right onto you. Your character was. When you come out, we know how we the fans know. Okay, we boo this guy. You give us those signals, and that's something else I talk about, is if you don't give us the signals, we just sit there dumbfounded, like, who the hell is this guy? Yeah, what are we I, supposed I, to I do fucking, with him? I hate it so much when guys walk through the curtains, and they don't do anything. Yeah. They're just <laughs> on the apron, <laughs> yeah, in the ring, like, what are you doing, bro? Yes. You know what I mean? Play yes. to the crowd, slow down. I, I was told that a lot in the beginning of my career. Okay. My problem wasn't slowing down walking to the ring, because I'm perfectly confident doing that. My problem was... In between shit. And I, right. I still have that problem a little bit. And, you know, that's fine. I'm only a year in. I'm still learning. But mm -hmm. I think I've gotten way better at that. And I think that's a very uh, a key item when you're working in the ring or just anything. You know what I mean? Any mm -hmm. form of art. It needs to slow down. You need to let it breathe so that the people can soak in what you're doing. You know? Sounds very artful. And, um, yeah. again, going back to the Slick Wagner as a teacher, that... Is seems it comes from Slick Wagner. Oh, yeah. Slow down. Let it breathe. Tell mm -hmm. the story. He still tells me. He's like, you did a good job slowing down. He said this a couple weeks ago to me. You do a good job of slowing down now, but once you think you're going slow, go even slower. Really? Yeah. Go as slow as possible. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, I'll hit a back suplex, and then I'll just... Yep. Give crowd it a goes something. fucking sick. Give, give it a little I, something. All I did was put my hands in the air. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're programmed. Yeah. And... Uh, I'm kind of throwing like secrets of the business out there right now, but <laughs> yeah, but I don't even know if what I'm doing is wrong. But. No, but that, those are the things that I've kind of gained as a fan over time. Mm -hmm. And I mean, let's be honest, I, the way the internet is, everybody knows like the inside of the game, if yeah, you will. They say but that and then they, they show up to training and they don't know what to do. Exactly. <laughs> they say they know, but they don't know. They yeah. seem to know the terminology. They seem to know, you know, X person is this or X person is that or, um, you, you know. And so, um, I mean, to sneak out some of that inside stuff, maybe that's a slip of the tongue, who knows? But those are the things that make, make you hate... Uh, Make us hate you mm -hmm. because you, you communicate with us again, right when you walk out as soon as, you know what nowadays, because we've gained uh, a relationship with Eli, the fans and Eli with the firm. As soon as that mother fucking digits start, do, 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 oh my <laughs> God, it irks me. It, it boils my blood. Yeah. Um, and the, you have projected that over the course. Can I go back to just a year in the biz? Yeah, like a year and six months. A little months over? Something like that, yeah. Now, today, which is very odd, it doesn't make today the date, but the day. One year ago, you were on Center Ring. Center Six, I should say. Mm -hmm. So this is fucking weird. I'm driving here in a bag. With a driver in a backseat in a trunk. <laughs> <No. laughs> um, I'm driving here going, oh my God, it's been one year exactly since Center Six happened. Yeah. Um, and I jump around because I'm Kincaid, I'm not that bright. So um, we've talked Dojo, we've talked a little bit of the training, um, we've talked the heat that you've already provided, the fan, the, the fans just fucking hate you so bad. Mm -hmm. um, let's, let's go way, way ahead. Center ring, you came in. I invited you guys down. You and Jay Bricks, you came in. And you told me... That you were a racist. That. But that was later on. And, 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 and I'm telling you, my dad cracks the F up every time he sees that. He <laughs> loves that shit. Um, you guys came in and you said, Hey, Kincaid, we're not here to F around. We're taking over. Mm -hmm. And I go, everybody says they're going to take over. But son of a bitch, you guys came in. And immediately when the cameras rolled, you turned that switch on that's needed 
in wrestling or entertainment. Mm -hmm. And you, you guys took the F over. You were... You were kicking me out of my seat. You're calling center ring center six. Yeah. Um, you're <laughs> the the shit was crazy, and I have to say, not because I'm sitting next to him. That's got to be number one on my all time favorite shows for center ring to date, and I haven't been on center ring very long myself. Yeah. So I mean, you guys come in, you take that entertainment value, and like again, you turn it on. How the hell can you do that? You're having a shitty day at work. You're having a shitty day at home. You had a fight with your girl. Um, things happen. And then you've got shit to do, though. You've got to get in that ring. You've got to get in front of a camera. You've got to get on a podcast, whatever the... How does one turn that switch on? I love it. I don't know. Like, when, when, I, when I start wrestling, it's just everything goes away. There's no drug like what you love. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, you're chilling with your girl. You love her. Everything goes away. Unless she pissing you off, you know. <laughs> of course, my problems don't go away if I'm if I'm in the ring with a guy and he's the shits. And I'm, I'm getting pissed, so I'm, <laughs> you know. That's the problem in front of my face at that moment, but I still love yeah. it. So right. it, it makes everything that's going on in my life at the moment it, it makes it so uh, small. Mm -hmm. I guess you could say it makes it seem so little compared to what I'm doing in the moment, which it is. You know. I kind of feel the same way as a fan. It's our outlet, if you will, to get away from the bullshit. And mm -hmm. you guys give us your performance. and That's why every time I go out there, I try my best to entertain the people. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I might not be fucking uh, Darby Allen throwing myself off of... Uh, <laughs> Great, 20... Doing the crazy shit. Yeah, jumping off a ladder through three tables. But you don't shit. have to. Yeah, but you no, know, I still give it my all. That's right. I do it on a special occasion, obviously. Wait, you've yeah. jumped from like a basketball hoop to three tables? When no, was this? No, I, I would. Oh. <laughs> I'm saying I would. Damn, you know I, I, I missed that. It has to be a big show, like Fight yeah. for Your Dreams or something. Or like yeah. XWA has a rumble coming up. Check that out. Yeah. I, you know what I mean? I'd do something in front of a big crowd like that, but you know, I'm not going to do it in front of 30 people. I'll just, I, it's, I feel you. I'm entertaining you. I feel yeah. you. I'll still give it my all. I'll still be a wrestler, but I ain't going to be Mick Foley. I'm not, <laughs> no. So um, I'm a Linko. I know I'm jumping timelines because, you know, again, I'm not that bright. Um, yeah. I, I want to go back to some of the uh, promotions you've kind of spread your wings to. Bell Time is a sister club, uh, a sister promotion of uh, mm -hmm. Tessa Strength. And the GMIC, Alex Rojas, is actually the GMIC, if I'm not mistaken, up at Bell Time. Is that correct? Or something along those lines? Or he's affiliated with Bell Time Club in there? He's got yeah, he's affiliated. I think that the... Uh... The G the GM is Dante Luna. Oh, there. correct. I think he calls yes. the shot. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yes, you good are dude, correct. You are correct. Um, it, it uh, how cool is it to go from home to a sister promotion like that, where there's familiar territory, there's familiar faces. Maybe some of your your peers from home, TOS, have gone with you to that show and wrestled on the card. How does that comfortable? Yeah, it's always a great time. You know what I mean? It's basically like being home. Everybody up there feels like a brother. You mm -hmm. know, it's not like going to a promotion where you. Just feel like it's another day at work. Right. It's, you're going home, home away from home, you know, visiting family. That's what it's like. Now, let's go from something that's a little more familiar with your peers and maybe some of the fans that you've that travel. Now, you travel to XWA in Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. XWA's got its own facility, concessions, ramp, got the beautiful entrance going on. Yeah. They got the commentators, they got the gorilla position, the back room's all pretty cool and set up. Mm -hmm. XWA's a lot of fucking fun, man. That's a great yeah, time is. up there. Elijah Six going to XWA for the first time. Are you going with some of your peers and your fam from TOS up? Are you taking a ride to perform with some of your peers at that first time? Like, say, if you're. Yeah, are you, I did. Now, are you freaking out because. I don't know anybody up there. I don't know anybody on the card. I don't know the fans. I don't. Are you still in that same zone of I'm going to TOS? I'm going to Bell Time Club. I don't know. It just feels like wrestling. Wrestling. I was excited. Right. It's a. It's an it's opportunity. Some... You know, it's a big opportunity to further advance in my career. Mm -hmm. But I. Ne I wasn't really nervous. You know what I mean? I. I get excited. I think we the nerves that we get sometimes aren't really so much of us being scared. It's us being excited, and we mistaken that because we. We don't even know our own emotions sometimes, I feel like. When yep, I first yep. started wrestling, I thought I was nervous as shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I started to realize after a while that those nerves never went away. It's not nerves, it's butterflies. You know? Now, when you get on... When you walk out through the curtain... Like, for me, when I was in a band, as soon as I play my first song and get that over with, 
I'm good for the rest of the show. Mm -hmm. But I love that fucking live stage in front of the people. Mm -hmm. um, you guys, I, I, I mix wrestling and music are so very similar in so many aspects. But in a cover band or a band, we get a lot of time to kind of feel a little more comfortable. You guys got one shot live in front of whoever's there, no matter if it's a thousand or if it's 10, the nerves have to be crazy coming out of that curtain. Is, is it coming out of the curtain? Is it getting in the ring or is it just all the same? You're just like, does anything blow over those butterflies? Do they go away when you come through the curtain or after when you're in the ring? I don't know. They go away at different times. <laughs> every every yeah, match every is kind of different? different. Like sometimes I'll, I just won't have them at all and I'll just walk out and I'll just have fun. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Sometimes I have butterflies and then I'll walk out through the curtains. And as soon as I walk out, as soon as those curtains open up and my all readies come through, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's gone. Or sometimes it's like, uh, I won't, they won't go away until I get to the heat. You know what I mean? Right, right. Which the heat is when the villain is in control and I'm stomping them out. That, <laughs> you know what I mean? It won't go away until then. It's, yeah. it's weird. Sometimes they stay the whole fucking time. I don't know how to explain yeah, it. That is, that is yeah. quite that. Because for me, like I was saying, for me, I get one song done. For you, it's it's just a, that day or that show or yeah. that, you know, whatever. Most of the time, it's just I walk through the curtains and it's gone. Yeah. But sometimes yeah. it, it, it switches up on me. And I'm like, why the fuck are you here? <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. Um, you've had quite the rivalries with uh, a, a, a few of my faves. Um, and, and I'm going to start right off the ripper with one. Jay all hail. Jay all hail. Jay Brony. El Jabroni. Um, love Jabroni to pieces in and out the ring. Um, he's actually missing an action right now. Which really, I don't know. My life is really not right right now. I don't know. I, last he told me he was going back to the orphanage to go take care of some kids. Well, I swear he messaged me the other day and it wasn't. I don't know if I'm seeing shit on my phone now. I'm, I'm, see, I'm seeing Jay Brown at Stop and Shop. I went to Stop and Shop the other day to get some meat to empty shelves. Went to the bread out. With the I, face? I swear. With the face? I swear it was all Jabroni. But wow. that's, that's got to be me. That's just got to be me. I just want to. He must have lied to me. He said he was giving back to the community. That, that might be possible, but that's, that's maybe me subconsciously seeing El Jabroni wherever I go. Yeah. I don't know what the F is going on. Um, El Jabroni. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you seem to have fun beating the piss out of El Jabroni. Yeah. Why? Why El Jabroni? Motherfucker ugly. What did he ever do to you, though? <laughs> he ugly. <laughs> that ain't nice. Like, he's got a beautiful face. <laughs> you see well, his face? He did have a beautiful face. I mean, I don't know. Um, Let's pull up this motherfucker. Oh, God, no. <laughs> El Jabroni, um, you know, he has a, a gorgeous face, 33-pound head. Maybe. It really is 33 pounds. It, it is. Yeah. I've seen, I, I, I've seen it on the scale before. Literally seen it on the scale. Yeah. Um... Maybe not the best looking physique, but son of a bitch is if he isn't one of the most entertaining wrestlers on he our is. local scene. He is. He he's is. Very a, I, I love that it, kid so much. Yeah, it comes naturally to him. You it, know, he's one of those guys. He just naturally, when he he's naturally good at being a character. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know what I mean, I, I think I think if he didn't use his verbiage, um, we might not like him as much. So I think his, his cleverness. Yeah. It, it needs to stay there. Yeah. What do you? Uh, Oh, I was going to pull up a picture of Jay Brown, but I just oh, stopped. Yeah, if I decided it, that my phone doesn't deserve that. Not that. Wow. <laughs> man, I, now that's fucking heat, man. He whiz. Just on the phone. Yeah. So what do you got? One of those cool uh, Galaxy 20 plus? Oh, no, no, no. No, nobody fuck with iPhone. Uh, Android's over here. We got an iPhone. You see oh. that? Oh. Boom. 6S. Because I won't move past that because the, cause the charger jack is the headphone jack. And that's a dumbass move, Apple. I will never <laughs> buy a new phone from you again. Yeah, I slow this fucking phone down, I will get an Android. I swear to God. I start walking around with a big ass tablet. I'm not, hell no. I could so say that too. I ain't gonna know AirPods. It's just ugly. What, Hanging what, off. How am I supposed to work out with AirPods, bro? I've tried them in my ears once, I can't. They I just fall can't. out my ears if I try to work out with them. I can't I, wear I them can't. shit. Um, I'm a fucking athlete. <laughs> Um, let me talk about the firm a little bit because right now the firm is, I, I got to say, one of my all time time um, hated factions favorite right now in the scene on, favorite. on the scene. 
And as Mr. Elijah Six has said twice, in all honesty, and I gotta, I gotta put it out there because we do pull the curtain a little bit. One of my all-time favorite factions, just because of how each of them separately gained their own character mm -hmm. as they came together as a unit, being four men. It's freaking awesome, man! You yeah. guys are amazing. Talk about your brothers in the firm, the chemistry you guys have created. Um, and, and lead us into the ripping of some signs and how that's come about, please, because I, 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 I'd like to know. You, you know what? That actually all started off as a joke. We, were, we would do it in training. When we would train, we would joke around with each other because we were closer with each other than we were with the rest of the guys. Well, we still love everybody else, but like we just had a joke amongst each other. And... Uh, Sammy, I knew him since I started. Like, I, I trained at PWA for, like, a month. Oh, PWA's I, coming back. Yeah, they PWA. are. That's that's yeah. great. Uh, I trained there for, like, a month when I first started, and then they closed down, unfortunately. But Sammy's the first person that I met in wrestling, like, officially as a student to student. You know, he's the first friend that I made. Uh, Jay, he was in training. He started training at TOS the same exact day as me. No way. Isn't that crazy? That is awesome, that is, that dude. Is that crazy. is awesome. Uh, they they all bring something different to the table. I remember Richie showed up to training, and I was like, "This motherfucker gonna take my spot." <laughs> I was. So <laughs> he came in. He was doing the up and overs and the drills like it was nothing. Yeah. You know, he's amazing. Uh, J two, Sammy, they all bring something different to the table. Yeah. Sammy's a wrestler's wrestler. He could do everything in the ring. You know what I mean? Mm. And it's amazing how much that he could do in the ring. Richie is probably the most charismatic guy, <laughs> that guy on the scene. I, nobody's more charismatic Dude, than Richie, bro. Money. Bro, as soon as he starts talking, everything that he <laughs> says is always yes. right there. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Jay is is just the muscle. He's he's probably the fastest, most agile big man that I've ever seen. One day in class, we're all going around trying to do the 619, right? Because we thought it was so easy to fucking 619. Yeah, I could 619. Psh, we all failed. I get my legs like halfway through the ropes. And I think because I'm so tall and linky, like my legs always get stuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right? Sammy couldn't do it because he had the, the, the brace? problem. Yeah. yeah. I think Richie could do it. and But Richie's smaller than all yeah. of us. You know what I mean? He, he's the most athletic one probably. And then uh, Jay comes through. And With this the motherfucker hit the 619, <laughs> and I lost my shit. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, bro. Oh we just don't God. do it because, you know, we don't yeah. fuck y'all. Yeah. Fuck y'all. I don't yeah. deserve yeah. it. You know? So you've mentioned fuck y'all. Yeah. yeah, you have mentioned I'm about that. to get a shirt that's going that, to that say, say fuck, and then this is going to say <laughs> y'all. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but the y'all is going to be red. It's going to be like that. <laughs> that actually sounds perfect. Yeah. Um, the chemistry you guys have brought uh, from your individual characters and together, the let me see if I get this right. I don't know. I'm going to fuck it up. Uh, Richard E. Stone Esquire says it as such. We've got the ace. We've got the goat. Already. Already. E, which already. means he's better than your favorite wrestler. And he says that every time, right? Yeah. And we've got the hustle, yes. which is him. Yes. And we've got the muscle, which is, is Jay, Jay Bricks, yes. right? Is that correct? Mm -hmm. That's their tag team name, Hustle and Muscle. Dude, the, like you said, when Richard, when Richard E. Stone Esquire starts yakking, oh and the e my E is for excellence. God. That's mine and Richie's tag name. The E is for excellence. The E is for excellence. Yeah, we oh, got okay. t-shirt ideas. So each of you, when you tag together, have your own tag team name? Yeah. Except, Where the fuck have I been? Me and Sammy don't have one. Well, that's weird. Maybe that's something you should work on. Where the fuck have I been? I didn't know that. Use them. It's just between us. Well, f fuck. Yeah. I'm gonna have to start because I mean, if you've noticed, I mean, um, the hustle and muscle have been up to shut up and wrestle more than once. Yeah. Taking names up there and you know tossing people around and shit and uh, yeah. oh man, last shot. <laughs> Which one? The one where he killed uh Richard? he killed Zane? No, 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 the one after that. Oh, that was oh. devastating. The one after that, <laughs> they were shut up at Russell Six. 
Richard E. Stone came out in his powder blue thing. And oh my God, the crowd started calling him Smurf. And he started retorting. Oh my God, that was so much fun. <laughs> That's such an amazing thing that we got going on with her. I mean, it makes me actually cry a little bit when we're doing it. It's so effing fun. Mm -hmm. um, and another thing that I was talking, and I actually did, I don't know, and I know you probably don't watch my shit. I was, I uh, interviewed the GM. I revisited the GM. I it. You did. Yeah. And I actually, I fucking actually teared crying because anytime you come in the ring now and you come in, you go through the ropes and that big old the piece of jewelry off. comes off. <laughs> Yo, I, no, it's right here. <laughs> I lose my shit. Oh it's my right God. And I was talking to the GM about it and I literally started crying, <laughs> laughing about it. That is yeah. the best. It really is. Yeah, you want to wear it? You want to see if it's... No, oh, really? wait. What? Wow. Heavy work. Dude, this is almost as heavy as the yeah, championship belt. Yeah, because you saying it was fake. Holy... <laughs> Jesus Christmas. You wear this thing? No wonder why it falls off. Yeah. Holy cow. <laughs> That's it. See the A, E, all red, E. I, I should have got that red. The jewels. Dude, you dropped the ball on that. Yeah. You know what? We're going to have to maybe take a picture of this. I, I don't know if you've been seeing. I've been doing a little color contrast, little work on pitches. Oh, you want to do the little, you want to do the picture? I would do the eight. No, not on, not on you. I want to do it on this thing. Cut the flick. We need to make, we need to make. A ha ha. We need to make ha. this thing red right here. The eight. Dude, this is, this is awesome. Yeah, when this, tight. when this thing falls off, holy shit. I, I, I can't. Did I know? Oh, there it is. I just yeah. die laughing. Yeah. I absolutely bust out that, laughing. That happened by accident the first time, and I realized that the crowd reacted to it. So I was like, all right, we got something here. So I just kept on doing it. I would purposefully, like, I opened up the little thing. The latch there, yeah. Yeah, because there's a little latch in between it. And when I would get in the <laughs> ring, awesome. it would, like, slip. The way that the chain would swing, it would always slip off. Oh, okay. Purpose. Yeah. So as you're coming in through the ropes, you've got it down to where it swings. It's yeah. going to fly right and out. I already know it's going to fall off. That is I already know awesome. how the crowd's going to react. Um, I've heard the wrestlers tell me that sometimes they don't even hear the crowd. They're, they're in their zone so hard. Well, they don't even hear that. So when you hear a reaction from a crowd and you actually feed, you feed off of that. Yeah, I had to work on that. Because uh, I I didn't have that when you when you first start it's hard to do that because you're just you're so focused you're not living in the moment you're so focused on what's the next spot what should I do next so I don't look retarded mm -hmm. you know what I mean instead of focusing on how's the crowd reacting right now so your brain takes over so much mm -hmm. you're just like you kind of get a little like you're just not in that moment at the time you know and I'm like you I used to what, I could hear them now. I, did, I don't have a problem hearing them now. I've been like that for like seven months now. Okay. I remember the first time I started hearing the crowd. I think I was, I think I was working Jay Brown. I don't know when I was, when I heard the crowd for the first time. I just know that one day it just clicked. You know what I mean? And uh, I was taught that uh, it's, uh, I was basically told that's how it would happen. Like, you're not going to hear the crowd. That's something that you just can't teach. Really? But one day you're just... It's just going to happen, and you're going to feel it, and you're going to know how to react to it. It's just because when you're green, like I said, you just, you're not living in the moment. You're not reacting. You're acting. Right. You know what I mean? Wrestling's about reacting. That's all that it is, the art of reacting. And I would think as, as, a, as a starting wrestler and trying to not mess up and trying to get all of your spots correct and trying to remember what's going on, you're always trying to play that chess game of, okay, I've got this, this, and this, but sometimes you, you F this and this up that's already in front of you. Yeah. I see that a lot happen. Mm -hmm. um, so seeing you being so comfortable right now and the fans d doing your job and making us hate you is just some of the most fun that I'm having in wrestling right now, really. Yeah, thank the, you. the firm is just on fire right now. Um, I love everything about them, what each of them brings to the table. And if there was anybody different, I don't think you guys would have that chemistry, to be honest with you. Yeah. And I, you can't force chemistry. No. And you, you guys right now, and it's hard to get four guys, never mind just two guys, but four guys on the same page to create the art you're doing right now is just amazing. I, I'm Thank absolutely you, loving it, man. Mm -hmm. Um, let's get to the signs, please, because that <laughs> one specific girl, and then I'm going to get the sign kid. <laughs> um, that one girl at PAPW, 
I seen you walk over there and I go, no, he's not. And, and I'm, I'm sitting next to Laura and I go, oh shit, no, he's not. So I take my camera and it, it's kind of grainy because the lighting isn't the best at the annex. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit grainy, but man, is it so visible? And you walk over there. She is screaming at the top of her lungs in yeah. your face. <laughs> and you're like doing this thing and blah, 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 blah. You grab the sign and then mom comes floating up. I don't even know if that's her mom, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> but mom comes floating up and she's like, don't, you know, the girl, she's don't like, you, you better did. fucking not. <laughs> and I was you, like, damn, she kind of diesel. Yo. <laughs> she's as tall as me, bro. <laughs> yeah. She was big as hell. <laughs> so I was just like, damn, should I rip this sign? She might whip my ass. <laughs> and I was like, you're thinking heat, right? I'm going to rip the sign. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, so you are thinking so much heat right there and you yeah. ripped that sign. Oh my God, Elijah. I thought she was yelling at you loud before. Mm -hmm. When you were walking away, she just kept screaming over and over. And I, oh my God, I'm going to die. <laughs> that girl would not stop. And uh, not only did it stop there, at their bigger show, but it traveled over to one of their smaller shows at the Friday Night Alley Fights. Yeah, the two-year anniversary. Oh, my God. She loved... You have made the most uh, heated fan ever. Right now, that's that little girl. Yeah. She will hate that's you. the most with... heated fan since The Miz won the title. Yo, prob yo probably. Oh, I do. <laughs> she looks like her, too. Yeah, I, I probably. That's funny. <laughs> Very probably so. You have made an enemy for life. And I, on my end... It's so, it's so much fun. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, and then the sign kid. Now, I know you did it to the girl. It, 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 it's sign kid. Mm. What the fuck were you thinking? It's sign kid. It's had my name on it. Of course. And it's it an Eli sucks. sucks. <laughs> That's a false statement. <laughs> What's so funny about that? It's false. I thought it was pretty factual. No, it's not factual. I win all the time. I win. You don't win by sucking, hmm. okay? I I've seen him more. I'm number one contender for any test of strength title that I want. Oh my God, you beat! I won this. This is my first championship. Yeah. I won this, and I, I wasn't Oof. even a year in, and I'm still the champion. In a triple threat, man. And I'm a year and six months and two days in. Uh, Wait, so how long have you had the championship? I have cool for? gear. Eh. I have cool shoes. Nah. They're I, getting dirty. I got new ones now. Let's, I, let's get back to the, first to the cool belt. How long have you been champion for, if I might add? I don't know. <laughs> Ouch. I don't know. Man. But, like but, seven months. So you're like the champ. Huh? But you're the champ. Yeah, I've been like seven months. I don't know. I don't think about that shit. Um, I, just, I just try to, you know, move forward and focus on future. You know what I mean? I gotta... I, I, if I... I, I gotta... But, we have a show coming up for Battlefront, May 9. That's good. That's going to be on the line again, isn't it? Yeah, uh, Heck Dynamite. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> yeah, that guy sucks. This Jive Turkey made his way somehow to the first meeting. And I'm telling you, this second meeting at their hat, that championship, it's a walking to the brother. Uh. Ooh, let's flip that around. I don't know about all that. Yeah. I don't know about all that. Heck Dynamite's going to be the next champ, baby. Nah. Yeah. I don't see it. You think that title look good on him? Absolutely. I think... As good as it looks on me, though? Well, maybe a smidge better. Nah. And maybe a smidge better than it does nah. on me. Nah. Yeah. Come on, son. You rather. Yeah. You rather. No. So, you uh... Eat another cookie. What do we get? Yeah. Oh, those like the, uh... Those are off-brand Oreos. You don't want those. I don't... Well, wait, those are... Those are the, like those the struggle cookies. Those the, the struggle cookies. Bro. I've never heard those that. Those are the coronavirus cookies. You know what I mean? <laughs> the they have no more Oreos, so I had to improvise. <laughs> <laughs> the struggle cookie. That's fucking awesome. I never heard that. Yeah, one. but listen, May okay. 9th, yeah, Heck May 9th. Dynamite. He ain't beat me the first time. What the fuck makes you think he's gonna beat me the second time? Oh, because answer the question. What the fuck makes you think he's gonna beat me the second time? Well, huh? I think the higher ups in Battlefront. Stop talking. He's not better than me. He's good. He's he's not great. All right. He's not the goat. All red E. He will never be mean. 
But you always have Jay Bricks on the outside of the fucking or or it's or it's Sammy Diaz. Watching. Or it's Sammy Diaz. He just be watching. Or, oh, watching. Yeah. Let's okay. How about Bro, the higher ups? Let, let me support. Do you think you know what I'm gonna do? When you graduated high school, was your family there? Moral support. Did they jump on the stage and stunner the fucking guy who was handing out the diplomas and say you better give Kincaid a diploma? No. They was there for mutual support. I never cheated a day in my life. I'm an honest, I'm an honest young man. Shit I'm done. Um, at Battlefront higher ups, the higher brass. I am begging you right now. May 9th is coming up. He's going against Heck Dynamite. Jive Turkey against Solid. And I'm telling you right now, you have to ban, eliminate Jay Bricks, Sammy Diaz, <clears throat> Richard E. Stone Esquire. All of them need to be sent to the back and stay there for this match. We need to find out who the better athlete, who the better wrestler, who the better champion really is. That's the way I see that one. Hey, I noticed we've got some gold dust. Go. Yeah, gold dust is cool. We we got we got some wrestling going on. Maybe, maybe. Are you fucking I kidding like me? Even your controller is red. Yeah, it's red. Are you fucking kidding? Yeah, bro. Red controller. <laughs> That's some red shit shoes, right there. <laughs> red sandals. Damn. Red ab wheel. Wow. Red is my favorite fucking color. And you Basically. dropped the ball on your jewelry. How pathetic. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, so, if I may ask, we have some WWE, some older WWE. Do you watch the current product right now? Mm. No? Mm. I watch Sasha. Ouch. Wait, wait, what? Sasha, I watch her. Sa that's it, Merce Mercedes. We love Mercedes. Yeah, that's it. All right, so you don't, <laughs> I don't watch really care about most people. You know what I mean? Like right now, the product. I don't. I think that uh, the product can be good sometimes, mm -hmm. and I'll tune in then. But I don't. It's not good I, enough on a regular basis for you. Yeah, it's not consistent. You know what I mean? I can't. It doesn't keep me hooked. Mm -hmm. So uh, you don't watch WWE. You don't watch. Uh, Impact. You don't watch ROH. You don't watch New Japan. You don't watch any of those oh, products. I watch R I watch ROH and uh, New Japan. Okay. Yeah, I watch a lot of that shit. Okay. And I watch a lot of old school stuff. I'll just tape study. That was a good sunset. I'll tape study a lot. You know what I mean? I don't really like to watch what's going on right now on mainstream platforms. I, I, I got you. You know what I mean? Could we see? No, it just doesn't hook me really. And it's like what a. What am I watching it for? You know what I mean? There's other stuff to watch that's mm -hmm. that's better products right now. No offense to the E or anything like that, but it's the truth. They're 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 slacking because they know that they're the top dog and they're right. sleeping on places like AEW. Mm -hmm. They're killing it right now. When they first started, I was like, oh, this shit sucks. But, but they got they got the hang of it after right. a while. And they needed storylines for us to get hooked into it, though. Yeah, I watch a lot of indie stuff, too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I like to watch the local talent so I can see who I'm cool. dealing with. I am so glad to hear that because yeah. a lot of guys don't. Yeah, and, and I think that's foolish. Instead of watching bro, the old, product. they're missing out, bro. Right. There's so many great talents. Like, exactly. People, most people probably don't know who the firm is, and you know what I mean. If something happens and we all go our separate ways or some shit, they never will know who the fuck the firm is. And we're, I think we're fucking legendary, bro. Mm -hmm. I think we have potential to be legendary, and people just don't watch the product. They're like, ah, that low budget shit. Mm -hmm. Like, bro, what you're watching on television is low budget, just in a different way. You know, what with I mean? a higher production value. Yeah, it's just a higher production value, but they don't have their heart isn't on the budget right. that our heart is on. You know what I mean? And they used to, like, uh, WWE used to tell stories for a elongated amount of time. Um, and Triple H and Vince both have been quoted, and I've heard them over the years about how storytelling is one of the main focuses that should be in wrestling. They Son don't. of a bitch. No. What, what have they done That's to us? That's why I don't watch it. Bro, the last time I was very invested in a story was probably, uh, I'll say, Daniel Bryan. Yeah, Daniel Bryan going into WrestleMania. WrestleMania 30 around that time, mm -hmm. it was fire, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You got Cesaro going into the battle royal and winning it. Him, him body slamming something <laughs> as simple as body slamming yeah. a big guy over the top rope like that got him so over. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And it, it it was such a moment that people don't speak about. Only takes and, one. 
Daniel Bryan going into WrestleMania, go, fighting against the authority as the ultimate underdog. Like, that's such a great story to tell. And mm-hmm. it's 101. And they didn't they don't capitalize on stuff like that anymore. Yeah. Like, Chad Gable, he should be a star. Oh, absolutely. Actually, Chad Gable and Jason Jordan should still be a tag team. They should have never broke them up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Simple shit like that. Um, let me see. What else happened in WrestleMania 30? The streak ended. <laughs> there was no build-up to that. Right. I, that pissed me off. Like, you can't just... Undertaker, yeah, poof, just gone, <laughs> just like that, yeah. with no purpose behind yeah, him. We exactly. already know Brock Lesnar's a beast. We already know that he's the most dominant guy in WWE. But Undertaker, yeah, bro, Undertaker, mm-hmm. like you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. How how often did Undertaker lose? It's not like uh, Brock losing to Undertaker would have been a big deal, and it's not right. like Brock beating Undertaker did anything for him. No, all it did was make us talk about a streak, and that was it. Yeah, just that, make us talk about oh the streak ended. Right. We didn't talk about Brock Lesnar ended the streak. No, not at Nobody all. Nobody cared. No, I think Roman should have ended it. I think Roman's great. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Very underrated. I, I've Super always underrated. Said, bro. I've, I've always wrestling said that. fans say that he's the shits, and no, it's like, bro, you no, don't know shit. Not. Yeah, you don't know shit, bro. He's great. He everything that he does, his timing is there. Mm-hmm. He knows where all the cameras are. He's not the best on the mic, but he has a look, and that counts. Right. You know what I mean? That's another he's, thing about Elijah Six when your character first came out. You've got a good look to you. Mm-hmm. You you project to the fans on what we're supposed to do with you, and once you, when you're in that ring. You're no slouch. You take care of business in the ring as well. Yeah. So those few things that combine together really make Elijah Six pretty popping in that ring for for uh, for me personally. And and obviously the fans have taken a latch on to Elijah Six, the firm. And what's mm-hmm. cool about the firm is they can come out in twos and still get exactly the same heat if the four of you came out, if the one of you came out. They, you get the same amount of heat no matter what. Yeah. Which is awesome, man. I think that's, that's very the thing vital. That's we don't Very vital. We don't try to step in front of each other, you know what I mean? None of us tries yeah. to step in the front and be like, nah, I'm the leader. You know what I mean? Watch me. You know what I mean? We, we all try to give each other love and let each other shine. Mm-hmm. We don't get mad at each other because... Oh, these two are in the tag match. Right. He's in a title match, and I'm working uh, this job. Or you know, what I mean, I'm not gonna get mad yeah. over that. You know, what I mean, it's just like we all shine in our own individual way, mm-hmm. and we're all okay with that. You know, seeing Richie come in, um, <laughs> he was your lawyer at the beginning. He still um, is our lawyer. <laughs> oh, oh, still continually. He's yeah, just he, not. He's, he's a lawyer. You know that doesn't oh, yeah, go oh, yeah, away. That's right. He served me papers and such. That, yeah, that is true. Which still waiting for the triplicate to come in, which is going to suck. Um, but he was dressed in a very different way. He had a professional lawyerish look to him. Um, and then Jay Brown hit him with his thirty-three pound head and broke almost every single bone in Richard Easton Esquire's body, which was amazing. That whole thing, him bandaged up and. <laughs> That's fine. Richie could have every bone broken in his body. That, Jay Brown doesn't have any brain cells. What? You know? That was awesome. That whole story was awesome. Yeah. Um, and then he transitions and he puts on this power blue jumpsuit. And M. Effer, if he is in so much fun with you guys, it's the firm is the best, man. Yeah. I, I really, the firm is the best. Um, where do you see the firm? Um, do you see it continuing? Onward, or do you see you guys maybe kind of going a little separation to... No, 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 no. no? never, never, oh. never. I was you know hoping I mean? maybe they split if, up or not something. Not if it's up to... No, that's oh. never going to happen. Oh, okay. All right? The firm is staying, mm-hmm. all right? Well, that's it. And actually, I, I, I dressed Richie. I taught him how to be fly. Really? Yeah. So that's your powder blue uh, suggestion? Power powder blue. Oh, but... Yeah. What a powder is for cocaine. Oh, that... In case you have to... um, You want to do some coke? I got some. Yo, you whoa. You good? I know. Hey, I, know. I don't do it. I don't do it. It's yeah, I, I figured you did it because, you know, you, you're a little skinny. You got the little the little Oof. nose going on. I have, been no, I have been known to be called a crackhead once in a while. Which... No, not crackhead. That oh. don't make you a crackhead. Oh, well, you never know what you got. I no, know. cocaine. Oh, oh you the, know, the cocaine, cocaine, cocaine. The cocaine. You know? <laughs> yeah. uh, no, uh, I am out. Could you ever imagine me on coke? Whoa. Jesus Christ. Yeah, lots of drugs, lots of drugs. Dude, could you ever imagine me on cocaine? Would you want me on cocaine? Are you shitting me? Drink. If you're doing my interview, yeah. <laughs> Entertainment. Oh, man. Uh, <clears throat> ah, you 
Christ. Oh, good. Oh, please. My goodness. I wear this when I work out. It motivates me to the color right um, I, I'd like to talk the transition of Test of Strength training days to the road shows. Mm-hmm. That has changed the company a little bit. Yeah, it gets more eyes on the product. M- many more eyes. Mm-hmm. You guys have been jamming the deuce. Jamming over at uh, Tazrax. Uh, where else have we been hitting on the road over there? Uh, Tazrax. Uh, we do Tazrax. The deuce. The deuce. And was there something else? Am I missing? I just got it. so many places. Yeah, we just are... did those two spots so far. We're looking for more venues, though. Man, I'm telling you, the deuce, I think, is probably you guys' most popping shows out there. Mm-hmm. Um, the crowd absolutely loves Test of Strength. Yeah. They absolutely love it. We have a blast. The the stories, some of them come to a finalization. Some start. Uh, uh, Sammy coming back from injury and taking out Jay Brown with the chair. Um, ah. things, things like that, which was the most ah. bullshit uh, thing that could ever happen in the world Fucked him of up. wrestling. Um, he's still not right from that. Jay Brown. Who, Jay Brown? Yeah, he's still fuck not him. right from that. I don't he's fuck got a bad he back. He's got scoliosis now. He's got a fucking... No, he always has scoliosis. I uh, fucking need to sit up straight. <laughs> I see, I see tests, of, tests of strength just gaining more steam in mm-hmm. my eyes. The thing is that... Uh, I think Lone Survivor 2 is our best show so far. I think that show was amazing top to bottom. And uh, the reason why I think that the shows get better is because our talent gets better. You know what I mean? The talent gets better. That's better for the product, which means better shows, which means fans leave happier, which means they're coming back and they're telling their friends. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, it's it's just going to keep on progressing from here. Uh, Dear Norma coming up. It's going to be fun. Yes. Maybe postponed because of coronavirus. We don't know what's happening. That's yeah, right. Nobody That's knows right. what's the happening. Date. Yes. Yeah. Shit. That's right. Yeah. I just want to, you know, cash in my number one contendership and win a title. That's that's my... Do you know who the Test of Strength champion is right now? Oh, Uncle Peaches. I'm not talking about him. <laughs> it's so funny. It's because he's black. He said Uncle Peach. That's what you call the other man. Dano says Uncle Peaches. That's my Uncle Peaches. That is amazing. Whoa. Man, I think that damn chain. Thank you. That thing does Don't stop being a racist, KK. <laughs> that thing... Ain't nothing funny about the name Uncle oh, Peaches. Oh, man. That is hilarious. Um, so you do obviously know who the champion is. You, Elijah Six, the Go All Red E, you... Um, you have a feeling, you have the confidence that you could win the number one contendership and go against Dan the Man? Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to cut you off. It's for any title of my choosing. It doesn't have to be Dan's title. Oh, shit. Here's the thing. Right. There's tag, In the fans' eyes. There's a tag belt? The TOS championship is the championship. It's the championship. You, you, that's what you think, though. The killer K1. The, the K1 Kowalski. All the trophy. titles and tests of strength are equal. All of them. That means that the Test of Strength title is equal to the Tag Team titles. And the Tag Team titles are equal to the K1 Championship. You cannot tell me that you did not leave every single show since Ch- Sammy's been champion talking about Sammy Diaz. Thinking no. about his match. No, we've been talking about when is he going to lose that cup. You're still talking about him? Well, actually, no, because <laughs> Mike Skyros dethroned him, baby. Who had the best matches every single training day? Day. Don't say Jay Brown. I swear to God, if you say yeah, Jay Brown, I'm going to kick you out of my house. Because we know that's false. Come on. As a shoot, we love Jay Brown. But those those matches, he's good. But those matches were not there. My pop and I, we always leave training days. And we always talk Sammy Diaz, to be honest with you. We always, always exactly. talk exactly Sammy Diaz. Why? Because he's the man. He is test of strength. The firm is test of strength. Understand that. You can't teach talent. Well, I don't know. Shut the fucking mouth. That makes his title the title. You understand? When people are talking about you and your championship, that means that your championship is the most prestigious one. The K1 Classic Championship represents everything the Test of Strength stands for. Killer Kowalski's legacy. But Jimmy is not a champion. 
Francis. He was, he was. And Mike Skyros won it. And you know what? I can't even be mad at that. You understand me? If it was up to me, I probably would have been K1 Classic champion. What a hell of a match between Sammy Diaz, Mike Skyros, exactly. and Brian Pillman exactly. Jr. Mike Skyros is good, but it ain't going to last long, all right? Sammy got him again in a one-on-one at uh, Dan Norma. Yep. No. What do you think is going to happen? Mm-mm. What you think is going to happen? You think we're just going to let that slide? You think we're just going to let him keep that championship? He could hold it tight for the next couple months. His his championship reign is only lasting longer because of the coronavirus. He's getting saved by the Chinese people. <laughs> All right? He's getting saved by them over there. It ain't going to last long. Same he's going to take the K1 Classic Championship back, and I might go after the tag titles. I might go after the Test of Strength Championship. Do you know who the tag champs are right now? Do you have any clue whatsoever? And I almost beat them with a guy who I never met in my life. What you think I'm going to do if I'm with Jay or Richie? That was very interesting, I have to say. That... That was interesting. Yeah. Damn it, my kind of made a point. Off. I was enjoying that. Damn, fucking shot him down. Like, damn. But it's it's like Wagner Brown and Jay Freddy. They're good, but they're not better than me. Oh my god, I hope Slick watches this so bad. Here's oh the thing. God. Here's the thing. Here's the thing about generations, right? Yeah. I am taught by him, not so that I could be less than him. The goal is to be better than him. I'm not just learning from wags. You think I'm not on the road learning from all these other motherfuckers? You have. That I, mm. I'm learning from everybody. Mm. You understand? I'm learning every single time that I'm in that ring. And every time that I team with Jay or Richie or Sammy, I'm getting those reps in. We are getting those reps in together and we're progressing together as a tag team. Mm. If me and any member of the firm get in the ring with them, it's over. It's done. And they know that. That's why they won't face us two on two. They they didn't face me with a member of the firm because they were afraid of the precautions. They faced Jay and Richie together in a fatal four-way tag team match because they knew that they couldn't beat them two on two. And now I have this number one contendership for any title that I want. What do you think I'm going to do, huh? What do you think I'm going to do? You think I'm going to team with Matias again? I wouldn't. He can't hang with me. Stop. He can't hang with me. I may team with Jay, I may team with Richie, I may team with Sammy, I may go after the K1, I may go after the Test of Strength Championship, if Evie takes it from Dan. I like Uncle Peaches. Uncle Peaches, that's that's my heart. You understand me? <laughs> Listen, the way that he makes those burgers on that grill, I could never turn my back on Uncle Peaches. It's a thing of beauty, isn't it? Yeah, the way that he, he cooks burgers better than he uh, beats women up, you know what I mean? It, it's it's a beautiful thing. So you can't... Would you would you beat up Gordon Ramsay? No, but I will say... Uncle Peaches is my heart. And I will never turn my back on him. That leaves the tag titles open. And that's where my eyes are on right now. Wow. Speaking of Dan the Man, I thought in the storyline of said uh, big... Big storyline buildup between Evie De La Rosa and Dana Man, and a no DQ, might I add, for the TOS Championship. And he brought out two hands, handmaids, and we had no clue who they were. And man, were we. Oh, man, what a present TOS gave us. It was Ref Gina, and it was Joanna Robinson. Joanna Robinson with a low blow, Ref Gina with a stunner. It was magical. It was magical. That was a good moment. That it was. It was awesome. Yeah. They still ain't win, though. Evie still ain't win. I know. That makes Evie look very bad. <laughs> I know. Evie... Three on one. And, and We should have had her champion. We should have had her champion. I thought she was going to win. Honestly. And I was just going to take the title from her. So it wasn't going to last long. I was going to run out with my briefcase. <laughs> ah! I was going to cash it in and I was going... <laughs> So, do, do you have a, a number one contender briefcase? No, I wish I did. That would have been cool, right? Well, that would be pretty neat, right? Yeah. I'm going to make like my own little contract. <laughs> there ain't no I'm way. I'm going to make a little contract, and I'm going to write in big letters, number one contender, and I'm going to start walking out with it. <laughs> <laughs> number one. Like, Ichiban, number one. Nah, fuck him. Yeah, and fuck how him. dare you cheat and beat. I won, though. Didn't won I win? Ichiban. Didn't I win? Just because I was smart enough to stay on the outside until the last two. His dumb ass yeah. in there. Uh, <laughs> number one. Uh, 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 number one. 
He is number one. Well, I, I guess he, he number he number seven. I, I guess there ain't number, nothing past number six. You understand me? You get the memo. There ain't no way I am calling him number seven. It's number one. Oh, like that guy from the bike club. Number. <laughs> oh my! <sighs> Why would you even fucking mention him? Fucking jackass is a boy. Fucking boy club. Such an ass. Oh my god. Um. I love working with Ichiban. You know what? For a newcomer, Ichiban is pretty damn good. Yeah. I gotta say, you've worked with him in the I ring. I still don't know who he is, but he's fun to work with. People trying to ask me if that was Jay. Trying to ask me if that was Jay Brown. Jay Brown. Like what? I thought it was Tucker. I thought it was Caddy Tucker. There ain't no way Caddy Tucker can move like that. I don't know. Come on. Do you see the way he dresses? He pulls his freaking he pulls his freaking outfit out of a sock or something in his trunk. Yeah, that's bad. I don't know. I don't, I don't know why he doesn't dress nice. I know he's making money. He's got to be. He works for TJ. For, no kidding. Come on now. There ain't no way he's not making bank. He's just dirty. He's, it's, it's all right. It's the only thing I can come up with. Some people just don't like showering. I'd Man, be. That, that kid wearing swimming trunks and wrinkled up at clothing. No, but legit, nobody nobody knows who Ichiban is. He literally shows up in gear. And I'm serious. I'm being dead serious. This is not what? a joke. That's he how he shows, shows up, up at training at school? Yeah, he shows up. He shows up, like, for matches. He won't even show up for training. Wait, he, he don't even up. go to the dojo? He comes to the dojo, but we do practice matches at the end. And he'll show up to the practice matches in gear. What the hell? Yeah, I think he lives at the dojo. I think he just, well, like, that, I that, think he hears Wagner say, All right, matches, everybody in the ring. <laughs> and then he gets, and then he comes in. He rolls into the ring. I'm like, this motherfucker. What the fuck you, who the fuck is this? I'd be so mad, bro. <laughs> oh my god, that was fucking amazing. <laughs> he comes into the ring. I'm a one. I'm a one. <laughs> you look like a fucking <laughs> retarded Pokemon. <laughs> fucking. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, that was amazing. Oh man. You never checked. You haven't checked if the camera was still rolling for a while. I sure the fuck hope so. I'm taking that right now because <laughs> you man, having too much fun, you dude. Got to... <laughs> my brain has been on. I check. I'll be generous. Yeah, See, wow. I'm a good person in real life. It's still going. Wow, that it's was the going. first time. I'm a generous person in wow, real life. I've never seen you nice to anybody ever in real life. As a real person, you know wrestling's fake. So I'm not a I'm not a real person when I wrestle. But in real life, I'm a very good person. Uh, Look at this. I offered him bananas and uh, <laughs> struggle cookies and Torios, <laughs> he, but all these he ain't eat none. I think he don't trust it. The, no, absolutely not. I don't know what season. F- I don't know what's in that shit. Yeah, cocaine, cocaine, struggle, <laughs> struggle cookies. <laughs> Man, I've had so much uh, Uncle Beaches and struggle cookies and cocaine. I mean. It, <laughs> Yeah, it's something wrong with that boy. And I am sporting this. God, man, my neck is fucking killing me. I am sporting this savage jewelry, man. That's why I'm so jacked, bro. Man, no kidding. You must be. This thing is crazy. My neck, that, that's that's preparing me for Japan. Whoa. Those neck workouts that they be doing, I just wear the chain. Is that, chain. <laughs> is that something? Uh, one of your peers, Sammy Diaz, he's going out to uh, the new Japan. Uh, they don't call it. Do they call it the dojo? Mm-hmm. In California. Now, is that something you would be interested in? Because I heard it's pretty pretty rough out there. Yeah, of course. Something you'd be interested in? I like challenges, for real. I really like challenges. Something you'd we, be into down in... Yeah, two weeks. Yeah, we do a lot of blow-up drills at the dojo and stuff. And when I, I've been working out lately, and I do a lot of calisthenics. And I used to do a lot of weight training because mm-hmm. I needed to put on masks because mm-hmm. I was very small when I first started. Right. But recently, I just do a lot of calisthenics. Like these weights right here. I'll just bust out a workout. Like, I'll drop down and I'll do 25 uh, push-ups and I'll just swing this bitch behind my head and I'll just... Ah, wow. ah, you number one motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck that Iggy Bond motherfucker. He ain't shit. He is something. He ain't got shit on me. I'm number six. One of these days, he's gonna... He he will have your number. And it's much sooner than later. I'm not saying he's saying not that. good. You know what I mean? But I don't think anybody could beat me fair. Every time you see me lost, how you how you see me lose? I've seen you win. They cheat in cheating ways. They cheat. They I've they seen cheat you in me. cheating ways. You understand? 
Only reason why Mike Skyros pinned me in that six-man tag at Test of Strength, he was holding the tights. Oh. You can see it on the hard cam. He rolled me up. I took the NZ from Hippie. Little ugly, short, little hobbit-looking ass motherfucker. He wrote, uh, 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 stupid ass mouthpiece. And Man, I can't stand that motherfucker. Really? He's a good wrestler though. Really? I can't stand him though. Wow. Man, That's fucking. Done. But hey. so Got me saying things I can't say on camera and shit. So if you had your choice of the K1 trophy or the tag team championships. You you did mention you were going for the championships. If you were to go into the ring as a uh, for a tag team contender, who would you take in the ring with you out of your boys in the firm? Mm. No, no, they all good. I take any of them. It don't matter. Any of them. It don't matter. I ain't that good. They don't matter. I take any of them with me. You understand? No preference. I don't. Pre no, I don't prefer that. either way. If I team up with any single one of them, we taking a dub. It's that simple. Wow. Nobody's better than us. All right. You said it yourself. Mm. Kind of did. We're on fire. Kind of did. Like number one. <laughs> <laughs> um, the corona has got everything topsy turvy right now in wrestling and everybody's lives self quarantining. There's not even a stake on the effing shelves. There's people are selling TP paper for fucking fifty bucks a square. Um, yeah, I'm about to stop slinging the coat. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to start slinging the toilet paper. Yeah, I think you, yeah, hit probably, me up. Fifty dollars a gram. There's probably more money in it right now. Yeah. Um, you did mention right off the ripper that you had a merch, uh, uh, some merch available on Pro Tees. Uh, the the men and women right now uh, are having some hard times. Some don't even have regular jobs, and and, and wrestling is what they do. Um, so I want you to plug yourself, your, your Facebook, your YouTube, your, your protease, whatever you've got going on. I'd like you to plug yourself because we as fans need to step up sometimes. And I know we buy their merch at shows and stuff. Um, like I try to buy as much as I can. I buy stickers, pens, shirts, you name it. I try to get what I can and I'm a poor boy, but I still try to do it. I want the fans to know where they can get your stuff, find your stuff, because even though we hate you, we still like the merch. We like yes. to get the villain of stuff. Of course. Look at this. This is so fly. I got I got plenty more merch than this. I got an anime firm t-shirt. We're going to get to that later. Okay. You can find me on Facebook at Elijah6. My name, duh, stupid. You can find me on Twitter at Elijah61. You can find me on Instagram at Elijah6. That's S-I-X. No, 6-I-X. I spell it different on different social medias. It's, it's weird. confusing. And most importantly, you could buy my merch... Like this right here at prowrestlingtees.com slash already. <clears throat> that's how you set it up, slash already. Yeah. That's actually pretty cool. That's my link. That, that's straight, man. Yeah, they let you set it up for yourself. Nice. So I, I, now that you mentioned Pro Tees, I see that uh, more of the, the men and women have jumped onto the Pro Tees uh, platform. What's changed? I don't know. We just got a lot of followers. Well,. I thought there was like a specific thing why some of the, the smaller, uh, not the smaller, I hate to use that, the, um, the, the more up-and-comer wrestlers, wrestlers right now, mm -hmm. um, they weren't on Pro Tees, and then all of a sudden, there was just a huge surge of I them. I think that people could just set up an account now as long as you're a wrestler. You just got to get verified. Okay, I yeah. got it. Before, it was like you needed to have X amount of followers. And right. This, yeah, but now it's different. It's just like, oh, you're a wrestler. You can have a store. You know what I mean? Which I think it should have been all the time. I mean, mm -hmm. what's the what's the point of having that platform if you can't get all wrestlers in there? Mm -hmm. You know. Matter of fact, back to the merch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you need merch made of any sorts or kinds, hit up Alex Rojas, the GMIC of Test of Strength. He set me up this T-shirt. Uh, he made me plenty of other merch, and he's like the best at this. He'll hit you with a low price. I had to plug in my boy there. He, he does a thing called Heel Shit Apparel. Yeah. Design and Apparel. Slash. Yeah, cheap. Slash. Heel Shit uh, 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 yeah, Design gotta, and Apparel. We got to keep it PG. Yeah, yeah. Oh, after you've dropped... TOS is PG. After you've dropped 18 F-bomb, so, 18,000. No, on here, I'm not PG. Okay. The test of strength is Yeah, 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 yeah. PG. So, PG. like, for Heel Shit, it has to be the Slash. Yeah, Heel Shit. Yeah. yeah. It's hard. Yeah. I hate wrestling. <laughs> It's the times, my man. It's the times, yeah. really. It's not the game. It's the times. Yeah. 
most definitely. Well, we've been a year and so deep into Eliza Six career. I'm having an absolute blast watching you in and out of the ring, with or without the firm. Um, in Tessa Strength, at a different promotion. Um, I cannot thank you enough for your time, Elijah, really. Well, I cannot. <laughs> I cannot appreciate this time enough because people in wrestling really think that sometimes wrestlers really hate certain people. And I actually think there's a true uh, hatred between Elijah and myself. Some people actually think. So like I say, peeling back the entertainment a little bit mm -hmm. and doing it with Elijah 6 is actually... God, I'm going to feel fucking ill after I leave here. It's been kind of special for me because of the way our relationship is. So this has been really cool. Opening mm -hmm. that door. Letting us in Elijah's... His merch. His... Yeah, this is my wall of accomplishment. Look at that. I was rookie of the year. Nice. First ever rookie of the year. I'm a little proud bitch. I'm a little proud bitch. That's yeah. awesome, man. I appreciate you letting us in your lives. Thank you, man. Um, giving us some of the insight of behind the scenes, because that's what I kind of look for. Mm -hmm. You know, you may say I shouldn't have said that or, or should have I said that. Nah. It's all relative. It's the only one who's going to give you heat is probably Swag, sir. You know, so. He ain't going to give me heat. <laughs> I don't care about that shit. <laughs> as long as I go out there and my match ain't the shits, I'm not embarrassing the dojo. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. And that, that's another thing before we, we, we cut this off. Um, you representing TOS, I've noticed uh, the, the students. And I'm not saying that from any other school, they don't pr portray the same thing, but. And TOS, you guys really go out there, and I hear it verbally, never mind seeing it, but you want to present your promotion in the best possible way when you leave those doors. Yeah, everywhere that we go, we try to be the best guys in the card. You know what I mean? Even It doesn't matter who's on the card, who the name is, the best wrestler. Like I could be on a card with JT Dunn, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I have to be better than him. Mm -hmm. You understand? So that... People leave talking about me. That brings more eyes back home, which means that my boys get more eyes on themselves. Right. And therefore, we all move a step forward. You know, It's all about rising up together, yeah. if you will. Mm -hmm. um, family, Elijah, bro. thank you for your time. Mm -hmm. It's been really... <laughs> I can't wait to look back at this one. Mm -hmm. It's been a lot of fun. This was Stir in the Pot <laughs> with Don Kincaid. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Ahaha. Uh -huh.